House of the Dragon, Episode 4, now out for you guys to go and check out right now. What an episode. There is so much to talk about. We're going to get straight into it, but let me know in the comments below what did you guys think of Episode 4. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And let's get into this review right now of Episode 4 of the House of the Dragon. Okay, so episode four, done and dusted for the House of the Dragon. This was an absolute another banger of an episode. They are just churning out high quality stuff every single week. It seems to just get better and better and better. I don't know how they're doing it, but they just continue to make better episodes each week. Some shows need to take a leaf out of this booklet. This is how you get better and better each each episode. And they've done it again. So... Again, it feels like we've had a bit of a, another little time skip here. Um, there is a remark here by, I think it's Damon makes a remark about it being four years or something like that in these past four years. So we're four years in so far. Now we get the return of Damon after the whole big war at the Stepstones. He's coming back. But we open up with Renera trying to find a match, trying to find someone to wed, and yeah, so, that was funny, funny, and fun, and then, uh, the little kid absolutely just belts some fucking older guy who's just been an asshole to him, which I was like, fair play, absolute fair play, but then when she returns, we get the whole audience situation with Damon returning as a hero, as a guy who just went to a war and saved the step zones from the crab feeder, and it then goes forward from there on and a lot happens in this episode regarding Damon as he starts to make his power play how what is his end goal here and he's moving chess pieces here and there to try and get to where he wants and there's a moment where he takes Renera out to the streets like undercover and shows her what basically the free town is and she doesn't really experience this because you got to remember she's more mainly trapped up in the whole kingdom, and when she is outside the walls of the Red Keep, she is actually still as the princess, so no one wants to trifle with her or anything like that. But she goes undercover and stuff like that, so she starts to see King's Landing in a different light to what she normally is used to seeing, which I thought was interesting and it was great for her character as she starts to learn and Damon starts to tell her like. It doesn't matter who you wed. You can still do whatever you want. Like, he's showing her that and these desires and teaching her and telling her, like, you don't need to do what they want you to do. It's just there for political shit. Do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And then, obviously, we start to get a little bit of a little bit of full to caring going on here where there's a bit of a play going on with Damon and Renera there, but it Damon stops it. He does stop and then abandons her. So we got a bit of that Tokarian stuff that they are known for. As we know in their whole bloodline, that, that stuff happened in their household. So, I mean, they were literally trying to wed, like, what is it? His sister's, the king's sister's, uh, I think that that's sister? Sister or cousin or something like that. Trying to marry 12-year-old daughter who is related to the king. So... I mean, you can't really, like, Damon and that doing it. It's kind of like, well, you did just try to do that. But we also get some other stuff in here as well. We obviously get the whole sneak preview of a relationship of the king and the queen. And it's not as rosy as we thought it was. And we saw that in this scene where the king calls her to the bedroom. And she is not enjoying it by the looks of it. So... A lot of things are happening, but I think the big thing coming from this episode is obviously when the king finds out because the hand sticks sticks spies around to spy on her and then gets the information back that Renera was out with Damon and that they fondled together. And he refers that to the king. And this is where things get interesting because now the hand is starting to move his pieces. He wants his um, grand grandson on the throne. He wants his blood on the throne. And this is where things start to take a turn for the worst for the hand because the king is onto it. And this is what I love. Like the king basically 
sets the law down to Damon, and Damon is just like, yeah, whatever, cool, just wed her to me. Just, why don't you give me Renera? We wed, and then boom. And then he just tells him, go back to the Vale. Like, I don't want to see you in my life again. And it's freaking, it's, it's a brilliant scene. Matt Smith was absolutely fantastic in there. And so was Patty. He was absolutely fantastic. I love that scene a lot when they're having that confrontation. It was absolutely fantastic. But then when the king starts to talk to Renera, she starts to drop some bombs. Absolute big ass bombs on him. Talking about the hand and his little move and how he wants to replace her with his blood on the throne. And the king's already had that confrontation with the hand and saying like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I trust you because you're making these accusations about my daughter. And I don't know if they're fully true or not, but it seems like you are just trying to get some form of your blood on this iron throne. But, you know, she she did also, Renera also, I almost forgot, Renera also did sleep with someone though when she came back instead of Damon because she didn't technically sleep with Damon. She just started kissing and they started to touch but they didn't actually go through with the act. But she does sleep with the knight, Sir Christian, which I kind of figured she would. She kind of has the little hots for him as well. So that was kind of, I kind of expected that, but no one knows about that. But anyway, then we go back and Renera, like the king's basically like, you're going to marry the sea snake's son. You are going to do it. I don't care. You're doing it. And she goes, I will do my duty and marry him, but you need to do your duty as the king and get rid of the hand because he is absolutely playing you right now and this is awesome because the king has a feeling of it and Renera just basically confirms it and everything he thinks and then when the king brings the hand in and starts to talk to him about it and start to realize you put your daughter in when I was at my most vulnerable to distract me you now have blood mixed with my blood that you want on the Iron Throne. You are spying on my daughter to try and discredit her at any cost so you can get your grandson on the throne. You are moving things. And then he tells the story about the five days when his father was really, really healthy. And then all of a sudden, five days later, died. And then next thing you know, he's the hand. He's gone from basically a nobody to the second most powerful person in five days. And he picks up on that and he takes the hand away from him. He's no longer the hand. Otto is no longer the hand. Who will be the new hand? I don't know. But bam, we have had some big things. So what is going to happen with Damon now moving forward? What is going to happen with Renera? What is going to happen with the new hand? Who will it be? And what will happen when the secret with Sir Christian and Renera getting together come will come out? I'm very, very intrigued. And what's going to happen with this wedding? Ah. Uh, there's so much that could happen. I, I am so excited for episode 5. Cannot wait. This episode was absolutely fantastic. I am loving this right now. I am loving it. And again, we got another reference to the prince that is promised with the dagger. And the, his song will be Fire and Ice. Another reference to Jon Snow. So it's kind of like, it, it's all there. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. So let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Till then, stay safe. Peace out.